Hello there. Once again, this is Anton from Antonimo Bay. Um, doing a, a mystery eBay comic book haul. Um, our special guest action figures today are Money in the Bank Carmella and the new DC Multiverse Harley Quinn. <clears throat> both are some of the finest figures that each uh, line has produced. This, they're both Mattel, which is surprising. Usually Hasbro's number one. I feel like these were very good figures. Anyway, we're going to start going through what I got. Um, as you can see, I got a couple issues. Issue 39 and 40 of Shadow of the Bat. And what this was, was uh, an eBay lot that was, um, I think it was like $50 for 100 comics. And I beat on the guy a little bit, and he agreed to do 200 comics for 40 bucks. And it was supposed to be all sorts of Marvel and DC and a little bit of um a little bit of independent as you can see these are pretty good books teen titans 23 um dc is not so much my wheelhouse but this is uh marvel comics presents number three um and number five you know what to be fair i wonder if these old ones flip over as well I know the later ones had two-sided issues or two-sided covers that you could flip over. So basically, when you look at these guys, remember that for every issue I paid basically 40 cents. And some of these are bagged. Very few of them are boarded. Um, got an issue of Thor. Always love issues of Thor. Check out my previous video on all the Thor comics that I just got recently. Uh, Spider-Man X-Factor number one. Young Injustice, Young Justice 15. Um, I never read Young Justice, any of those uh, DC books. My brother was big into like Impulse and Young Justice and stuff like that, but I never, never did read them. Uh, let's see, Superman, Batman, number 37, number 29, Captain America 339. That's a beautiful cover. Uh, that's a beautiful cover. I like that. I think I've seen that somewhere. But I can't remember where. Anyway, like I said, 40 cents an issue. I haven't seen anything that's not worth 40 cents an issue yet. That's a really thick copy of some sort of Excalibur book. Marvel's Ultimatum. Another issue of Marvel's Ultimatum. Or Ultimates, my bad. I'm sorry, I can't read today, apparently. Uh, ultimate cover. I'm not familiar with any of those. Wolverine Power Pack. That looks like a brilliant team up that I'm glad happened. Some of these are way newer than I normally get into. And I cringe at these $3.99 cover prices. Holy cow. All right. When I stopped buying comics, like new comics off the shelf, when I, when I dropped everything new, comic prices were... $2.99 and it was finally just like I'm not gonna spend this yeah, and the stories were taking a dive and I wasn't that into it so X-Men 101 that's pretty cool I don't know what that is but it looks pretty cool I'm not sure about in the shoes there um, issue of X-Men looks like a mini series X-Men first class comic book number one yeah it's an issue of yeah I remember. Uh, Young Heroes in Love, number one. Looks good. X-Men Archives Sketchbook. X-Men Alpha Flight. Thunderbolts 124. Thundercats Sourcebook. Okay, I love the Wildstorm uh, Thundercats stuff. Uh, Terra, first issue of four. Spider-Man and X-Factor, number two. Uh, Punisher, number 39. Wonder Woman, love issues of Wonder Woman. I don't have that many, and because you never find them in bargain bins, that's probably why I don't have that many. I, I just can't bring myself to pay, you know, four bucks an issue like they want from me now. Young Justice, twenty six, Justice League America, fifty seven, X Factor, two thirty one, two forty five. I did not know X Factor ran that long, actually. That's a really cool X-Factor cover. I appreciate that. X-23. 
factor what number is that one 260 or 228 x-men alpha flight back uh, part two back blast from the past x-men archives another issue of x-men archives issues two and three mystic number 30 Some sort of issue of X-Men. I'm not sure what that is. Um, you've heard me talk about covers I really like and how I don't like modern covers. I'm not going to rag on these books because I haven't read them. But these covers suck. They're they're not very good. Uh, they don't have that much color to them. They don't have a whole lot going on. They're abstract. They're like an X file. They're like the old X Files covers, which were actually better. Let me pull those down. Grab something here that's got a hard back to it. Go with Justice League Elite. Hulk vs. Fing Fang Foom. Punisher War Journal. War Journal. War Journal. Top Cow Rebirth. I'm not familiar with much from Top Cow, but some of it's pretty good. Comic called Slots. Avengers. Ooh, Sugar Babies, Charleston 2, and Sugar Daddy Presents Avengers. I don't know what this is. It's probably some sort of promo book, but I love Charleston 2 chews. So if you take a Charleston chew and you combine it with Avengers, it's probably a terrible comic book that I am super glad to have. The Nam 71. Witchfinder, number one. Top Cow Universe, number six. Fever Ridge. I don't know what that is. I'm getting into some that are too new for me. I like that, but it, it's a newer cover, and I have a feeling it was mostly painted with computers. Ooh, X Mutants number one solo. Okay, I love X Mutants. I am that's a I'm super happy about that one. Another issue of X Mutants. Looks like a mini page or a, a forty page special. Looks like it is. Very happy with those. Those are those are hard to come by, and I'm glad that we've got one. Or a couple in here. Uh, route, looks like. Labor Force. That does not sound... The covers look great. This looks great. The name just does not sound interesting. Labor Force. Elf Lord. Elf Lord. Those are some beautiful covers. Um, Fate. By DC number five. Fate number three. Fantastic Force. Mighty Thor number two, another issue of Fantastic Force. Those don't excite me. I mean, I'm glad that they've got She-Hulk in them, but I don't know, they don't really excite me. Superman Blue, everybody loves Superman Blue. Everybody loves Superman Blue. No, they don't. Um, that was a duplicate. <clears throat> Superman 138, pretty cool cover. Superman 140. Uh, 153. Not really up on my Superman comics. I recently acquired a bunch in the uh, Widow's Collection, which I will go through eventually one of these days as I kind of sort out what I've got. I love Supergirl. I will take Supergirl comics anytime, and I'm, I'm super happy to see those in there. Um, Wolverine 315. Fantastic Force, Supergirl in Concert, issue 28, 29, got a nice little pile of Supergirls, nice. Um, Uncanny X-Men, 430, X-Men Unlimited number 30, What If starring Kazar, I love Kazar and I love What If, Uncanny X-Men 405, these are X-Men's, this is like way after I gave up on X-Men, but it's still nice to see <clears throat> Sorry, to see some of these issues because I do want to read them. Um, Wonder Man, Five of Five, War of Kings, X Men Adventures. There's a book I used to absolutely adore. Um, loved the show. That was probably some of the first X Men comics I ever bought were from that show or from the X Men Adventure line. I'm going to pull these down because they're getting a little bit saggy up there. 
I'm gonna flip that over. I'm gonna use these to help prop those up so they don't get so saggy. And we've got an issue of Cerebus, Mothers and Daughters, number 19. Cerebus is a fantastic comic. If you guys haven't ever heard of Cerebus or have never read Cerebus, um, fantastic comic book series. Uh, the first 25 issues are a little slow, and then you get into like uh, uh, High Society, parts one and two, and Church and State, and I've read a lot of the like trades because I can't track down all those issues. But absolutely brilliant comic. These I don't look that excited about. Noble Causes. I don't know what these are. Uh, Malibu. Man of War. Mystic number 29. Mystic number 28. I do love these old cross-gen comics. That's weird. Uh, pers the New York Crew. <laughs> Michael Dorn Wharf. I don't know if that's a comic or what exactly that is. Azrael, Agent of the Bat. He was always, he's just nuts. He's, I love that character. He's more Batman than Batman. He's basically just out of his freaking mind. And that makes it just all the better. Heroes Return Thor, number one. Teen Titans, number two. I like both those covers. I'm very happy with those. Illuminati. Miss Marvel, okay. I love Miss Marvel. I love the covers. I love the paintwork that they did on these. I'm not excited about Captain Marvel, the movie coming out. Um, I hear it's been getting a lot of bad press. I just don't know how I feel about it. Probably sit it out. I did pick up her figure, the one with the cat, because it's it's a it's a superhero figure with a cat as the accessory. Like I'm not gonna buy that. Really, uh, Superman Blue Annual. Still trying to make Superman Blue look good. Fate number two. Fate number 15. X-Men The Hidden Years, first issue. I remember when this series first came out, I started buying a lot of them. I, it's one of the first comics I ever actually bought a subscription to. Um, Avengers Spotlight 35, always good stuff. Always worth 40 cents. And I mean, this is a $4 cover price. That looks like a zombie Punisher. That's crazy. Um, giant size Spider-Man Perspectacular. Uncanny X-Men 407. X-Factor 239. X-Men Adventures. Okay, there. That is the first issue of X-Men Adventures I ever bought off the stand. This is the first X-Men, first Marvel comic I ever bought that. I played the... Um, the Sega Genesis X-Men video game and Gambit was my favorite. I was like, I don't know who that guy is, but he's got a coat and a stick and that's awesome. And that's what sold me that comic. I was like, I, it's that guy. It, it was that guy. I had to buy that. Um, X-Men 20, 2099. I love X-Men 2099. I've got a pretty good run of those. I probably have those issues that's already up there, but, um, still, still worth 40 cents. I'm still good paying it. Issue one of Athena, Excalibur 96, Marvel Comics Presents number six. Let's see if they still, f nope, they don't flip the covers over yet. They must have done that later on. Ooh, X, uh, X Mutants number four. Great Malibu title. Another, another comic book that I only started reading because of the video game. I found the video game and I was like, oh, this video game's kind of good I, I don't know I really liked playing it so yeah I had to get the had to get the comics for it issue 10 Getting a little saggy here prop that up um, X-Men 2099 13 issue 14 love X-Men 2099 didn't run forever but I did collect most of the old toy biz action figures to it I got a lot of issues of X-Men. I've been coming into those a lot lately. There's, they've been really stacking them in these, uh, these uh, blind, blind box things that I've been buying. Uh, Young Heroes in Love, number 11. Number 94, X-Men. Um, that's a great issue of X-Men. It's when Abomination is uh, wearing his cape and stuff like that. 
What if Cannonball's little brother Josh had and his pet Sentinel? That's hilarious. I don't know. I got to read that. That's just wacky looking. That's a beautiful cover there. Birds of Prey, 55. Never read the comic, but I loved the TV show. There was a TV show, Birds of Prey. Didn't run very long on the WB, but it was good stuff. All right, that is... that. I think that's a couple issues over 200. I'm pretty sure I counted these uh, before I started, and there was like 208. Um, for 80 bucks, I think it did okay, guys. Some of the covers I'm not that excited about. Some of the books I'm not that excited about. But... You know what? If I was looking through a 50 cent bin or a, a dollar bin, I would have picked up a lot of these issues. So I'm real happy with what I got. Um, yeah, I'm pleased. Pleased with my covers, pleased with my selection. And I end up buying and getting a bunch of stuff that I wouldn't have normally even looked at. And now I have a chance to, to actually give it a look and, and see what it's like, see what it's all about. And that's how you expand your, your taste and stuff. Try a little bit of new. Well, that's my story. And, uh, Thank you guys for watching and catch y'all later. Bye.